South Florida House Representative Dr. James Bush III, <laughs> only Democratic, only Democrat, yes vote on don't say gay. Say it ain't so. This week, the Florida House Republican Joe Harding got don't say gay passed, and it is now heading to the Senate. It was expected. The bill passed in a 69-47 near-partisan vote. What was a surprise is the fact that a single Democrat in Florida voted yes. District 109 covering Opalaka and Hialeah, Miami-Dade County Democrat Representative Dr. James Bush III Vote, wait, does, you're going to tell me he owns flysigns.com. <laughs> <laughs> Voted in favor of the bill. The black, very religious, retired educator, mm. while surprising at first, after research, we find it's really not such a surprise. Dr. Bush signs his Facebook post with, quote, to God be the glory, end quote. I have deep faith myself, so no issues with that. But I'm LGBTQ. Studies show that black straight men, like Representative Bush, have among the lowest support of the gay community of just 38%, less than half of what polls show from the broad community of nearly 80% support. But worse, those same studies also show that religious black straight men, like Representative Bush, have absolutely the lowest embracement of LGBTQ, half again at just 20% support. Leading LGBTQ advocacy organizations have led the fight for acceptance, especially noting the difficult discrimination LGBTQ people of color receive in their own communities. Representative Bush's Facebook page includes posts with his friend, Representative Chris Latvala, the Republican co-sponsor of HB 1557, Don't Say Gay. There was another post about students visiting the Capitol and saying that he is, quote, never too busy to encourage them to pursue their dreams and aspirations, end quote. Apparently, that does not include students dreaming who they are as LGBTQ+. Another clue is a February 17 post with the president and CEO of Florida Coalition for Children, this is an ultra-conservative religious faith organization that completely rejects LGBTQ. Representative Bush neglects in the post to identify the president he's talking about of the organization, but we will. It's Kurt Kelly. Kelly is criticized by civil rights organizations for their support of the Patriot Academy, an organization that trains and educates young Floridians as young as 16 in many areas, including religious anti-LGBTQ embracement, also supported by, you guessed it, the American Family Association. Soon, Don't Say Gay will become the law of the land in Florida, and then education observers say that the beachhead this spill will enable will expand in a dramatic repression. Some even say erasure of LGBTQ plus in schools. Miami-Dade County's representative James Bush III was Florida's only Democrat to go along with the steps in complete rejection of the Florida LGBTQ plus community. Where do we begin, Al? Maybe he doesn't consider himself gay. I mean, I mean, black, excuse me. You know, just because, I mean, like even like the Florida Coalition for Children, that is full blown 100% white up and down, white men. And he's a part and he's got posts with them. He's an educator. I mean, this affects so many teachers in the classrooms. I can't believe he's okay with all this. Maybe he's delusional. Florida Education Association came out against this and the woke uh, bill completely, overwhelmingly. Educators uh, in the state of Florida said that this is a terrible choice. Mm -hmm. It is a terrible representation of what should happen in Florida schools. Of course, that didn't that didn't matter to the radical Republicans that were behind this. And it also serves as a message. Remember that there's an R in front of someone's name and there's a D in front of someone's name. But you need to dig beyond just one letter as we see in this. I mean, his only redeeming character so far that I can tell is that if Democrats were to win the, the House, that he would vote for a, a Democratic speaker. But beyond that, he's not with us on any particular thing along else. the way. So we, yeah. we need we need to learn more. It's almost like 
No, I can't, I'm not even going to go there. Well, and so many well, studies have come out, like in the last years, about you know black straight men not supporting LGBTQ, right? And the same studies that came out 15 years ago with that low percentage, still same, still the same low percentage here in 2022. Mm -hmm. So who I feel bad for are the black LGBTQ right. uh, plus people that are you know that are that are fighting against this, and he's they're saying, yeah, no problem, no, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't agree with this. Well, it, needs to be, it needs to be said that he's in South Florida. Right. Yeah. He's part of we're not like this little blue bubble down here anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have a growing uh, conservative thread that uh, clearly is- And it's you know, Obalaka and- I, yeah, I, so. lo I looked at his district and it's interesting. Um, a sizable 40% of the district of 109 is, uh, identifies as African-American, black. Mm -hmm. um, so um, representational. Mm -hmm. um, it is very hard for me to believe that a substantial uh, number of people in this district believe as he does. Right. Um, if they're going to elect a, a black African-American representative right. to the Florida House um, out of that district, it's that all, it goes all the way down to downtown Miami, right. that, uh, that this district believes as he has said in terms of being anti-LGBT. But with that clone stash, I'm just wondering how long it is before you found out that he found out he, he's on the down low or something. Just curious, yeah, like no, well, he's, how long he's that'll be. He's definitely married. He's, uh, you know, uh, we looked yeah, at a so lot. Yeah, but so was Andrew Gillum. Yeah, we looked at, ooh, uh, we <laughs> looked at a lot. Sorry. Class <laughs> of the electoral past there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> all right, uh, so I'm, I'm not going, I'm not going there. But uh, one thing that I also think is interesting is the support of uh, this Patriot Academy. Mm -hmm. Now, they have every right. There's no criticism at all of an educational program, um, uh, learning to speak, debate, understand constitutional law. I, there's no criticism of that at all. I don't like it when it tumbles into training you mm -hmm. to uh, be anti-anyone. If a, if a white organization was trained to be anti-black, you would be screaming bloody murder, uh, Dr. Bush. And the one thing that I also think is very interesting is they don't think it's appropriate for our children in schools under 18 to be educated in any way about LGBT mm. until they get in their own private academy. And then it's okay it's to start to teach it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a dramatic contradiction, mm. dramatic contradiction. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ+.